I'm not really gonna cover the news about um, the rest of the world, sort of, because once again, it's not really about the rest of the world on this channel, not right now, um, because all those Chinese balloons and 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 bankrupt banks and shit like that, it it you know it pales in comparison to what's going on right now. Um, what's going on right now with Russia trying to eliminate the whole nation of Ukraine, the whole country? Like it all just pales in comparison. There are there are news, and then there are news, you know, from a capital, and and so I I can't even like waste my time even even talking about any of those things. I'm going to include a few links um, just for you to sort of, uh, yeah, take a look at, take a look essentially at, at whatever is, is happening. Um, yeah. Views shifting views of Russian leadership in CS countries from 2021 to 2022. Interesting that it's not 2023. I would love, I would have loved to see in 2023 there, um, instead because I think it would have would have been even more interesting. But the fact that in countries like Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, even Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Moldova sort of still about half of the people don't totally disapprove of Russia. Kind of insane. Also, uh, I would have loved to see Belarus here to understand how that sort of, yeah, how that essentially sort of tracks on this, on this chart. No surprise that Ukraine disapproves Russia basically 100%. Look. 95% Lithuania the same uh, Georgia Estonia Latvia about 80% no surprise there obviously these are the countries uh, Latvia Lithuania and Estonia that were occupied uh, by USSR Georgia uh, Russia r waged war against it essentially and with Ukraine it's the same right now so uh, you know I don't see any surprises there to be honest um yeah, but then like the Reuters um, have created sort of quite a decent uh, uh, report about yeah about the war. Um, I'm gonna include this in in the in the description and it's a tragedy and it's an absolute tragedy. So many people, so many young, often young uh, men already died trying to protect um, their own country. It's yeah, it's it's just and unlike uh, and unlike in Russia that sends criminals like literal literal people from fucking prisons. They sent scumbags. They sent pieces of shit to the war. In Ukraine, it's the bravest. It's, it, it's the it's the it's the crop of the nation essentially. And like I said, before the start of the war, many, many, many of them were just regular civilians doing regular jobs. These are not the people who who are yeah who are criminals who were fucking in prison until they got amnesty to actually go to war and try to invade a uh, neighboring nation and try to kill and murder and rape and, and, and destroy and loot and, and do all those atrocities. No, these are the people who, who are trying to protect their own families, their own neighbors, their own cities and villages and, and th their own territory, their own land, their own nation. These are the heroes, and, and so these are th the good ones who are dying on the Ukrainian side. Whilst on, on Russian side, it's, it's 
mostly pieces of shit because you need to be a special breed of garbage human if you decide to actually go to war against a sovereign nation just because just because some cunt in fucking Kremlin who's got more money than God ordered you to do so in the name of some fake pretenses and you were stupid enough to believe that shit and and do that so that's it's it's an absolute tragedy absolute tragedy this destroyed buildings destroyed lives destroyed destroyed future to to some extent as well even though the future for ukraine looks looks way better and way more promising than for any other countries but the fact that this is the price that they have to pay deaths and deaths and deaths it's it's insane It's insane. So much suffering. So much suffering. It is so unfair. And once again, all while all while Europeans and Americans Don't do anything, or rather say, don't do everything they can to stop this war. And they, in fact, do prolong this war. Which is, yeah. It's a tragedy.